Hello, everybody. Why do I feel like it's been a while since I filmed a video, even though I swear it's not? I swear it's not. We are getting ready today, and I'm so excited. I haven't had a girl's night in what feels like forever, although now I've literally just said that out loud. I'm pretty sure I filmed like a, or maybe it was like a spend a few days with me, and we went out for dinner. But this is like a full on girl's night. We're going to like a cabaret performance and just having a catch up and it's at Firehouse. If you're from Manchester, then I'm sure you know the vibe of like what that is. It's just gonna be so fun. The girls and the gays out in full force. And I thought, let's get ready now. The table's not till eight. It's now like 4.30. So am I gonna start getting ready now? Yeah, because I just don't wanna rush. I say that every time. I want this to be leisurely, I want to enjoy myself, and yeah, I don't want to rush. I want to take some pics, I got a new digital camera, I'm really slacking on the content at the moment. I just, I'm feeling like a funny limbo of like my appearance, I know that sounds really weird. I don't know if it's just because like I changed my hair, I'm just feeling a bit more like natural these days in the sense of like I literally don't really wear, I'm not like wearing extensions at the moment, I don't know, just feel a bit like not wanting to take pictures of myself, but I literally don't know why. It's because I'm just like doing so many other things. I forget to like make myself look nice and like take pictures. But tonight we are making ourselves look nice. So I need to make the most of that, right? Um, I'm gonna like corkscrew curl my hair because I'm practicing like a messy updo vibe for the weekend. And I'm gonna try it now. I tried it the other day and I really liked it. My hair is naturally curly, but then sometimes when I brush it out, the curls like lose their definition, but I want it to be like frizz. Like my natural puffy hair, but with like some definition. So I find now with my like natural hair, cause it's quite thin, if I corkscrew curl it and like brush it out, it gives me the like volume to be able to do like a really cute messy bun. So that's what we're gonna use. Um, and we're using the Mark Hill curler today. So I had this like pick and mix wand. I did not realize how many different attachments they had. This isn't sponsored by the way. Like they have like a mini like waver. So I picked that up the other day as well. I normally, and why I had it originally is because they have like an extra long barrel. So when I had my like really long extensions in, this was literally the only barrel that was long enough of everything that I had to like curl my hair all the way down to the bottom. And the size of it meant that the curl kind of stayed. It wasn't too big but then it wasn't too tight, it was perfect. So yeah, they've got like a mini waver. So now with like my shorter hair, I feel like this will be really cute to use. And I picked up a straightener that looks like my GHD straightener um, attachment for like when I go traveling because and like on holiday, because then I just need to bring one thing. Straightener, waver, curler. Like what else do you need? Amazing. Anyway, so I'm gonna just apply some heat protectant. I'm just gonna take like little, like, this is really tedious, but like little sections. Give it a curl all the way down to the bottom, like so. Mm -hmm. So they're like super tight curls like that. And then once we've done all over, brush it out, give it a zhuzh, and we can do like a big messy like up do vibe i think because it's not n the sun's gone which is a shame um but it's still humid and like i said we're going to like a cabaret drag show vibe like type performance thing tonight so i just feel like there's gonna be a lot of dancing a lot of po probably like getting sweaty so i kind of um thinking like what does my hair naturally do when it gets sweaty it gets curly like this, like around my face and stuff. So let me just preempt that, play into that and get my hair like off my back and just do like a messy updo from the offset. So then if I do get sweaty, it just looks like, you know, my baby hair's going curly. It's just part of the look. But even though this is tedious, it is quite quick because we are taking such small sections. You don't need to really like hold it there for the longest time literally just like five seconds and you've got a little springy curl but yeah let me just do <laughs> the rest of my head so it looks like this and then we can actually style it so this 
is what we're working with. It's giving Betty spaghetti. Wow. <laughs> I'm now just going to take like a wide tooth comb and comb it all out. <gasps> Yay, look at all that volume. Much better. Just going to make it so much easier when I tie it back. And another product that I really love to use. I really love this range. It's, hang on, let me just brush it all. God, I wish my hair just had this much volume all the time. Um, but it's this, it's the L'Oreal Professional. I have so much stuff from this like range. Anti-frizz, the like thermo modelant hairspray. They're like oil as well. It's basically what they like use in all the hairdressers and I'm just such a sucker of buying things that my hairdresser uses on me, but I'm just gonna like turn my hair upside down. This is the constructor, it's basically a texture and hold spray. So I'm gonna turn my hair upside down. Oh, it smells so good. Can you see? It's just for like extra hold and volume. And basically I watched this girl do it on TikTok. And the way she does her messy updos is basically keep like a good portion of hair forward, like, although if you can hear the chase in the background, you obs know I'd be tuning in every day for my ITV quiz shows. This, like, essentially you just want like the front bits forward like so like this and then tie all this up just make it even here doesn't really matter too much but and then we're going to tie it in a bun but have it all like facing forward so like this and then like that where did all the hair go I think I like, there we go, let me just pull <laughs> it forward, I think it just got like caught under the hair tie. My little bun at the top, and then you just want to take some pins, like hair pins, or you can just leave it like this, um, take some hair pins, and then just basically like separate them a bit, but like pin the bits back but like not into the bun so they kind of just look like frilly little bits coming out of the bun like so and you can kind of like pull them out a little bit i do want to leave like a little one down at the front you can just like give it some texture with these and because it's all kind of like curls you can't really like it doesn't matter really how you do it like it all just looks like it's part of the look okay i definitely need to like give this a bit of a re, re curl there we go so then again just pin like these back like so it kind of like spurts out the side you know Like this! Uh, I feel like just having your hair with all of that like volume in from the offset makes that just so much easier. I'm just gonna go in with that because it's a texture and hold. So I'm just going in with that spray again. Because I want texture and I want it to hold. Right, I've applied like a little bit of like instant body tan. <gasps> Someone didn't make it. Just having my pre-night out cup of tea. Um, but it's quarter past... It's quarter past five. Um, so I feel like maybe in like 15 minutes I'm going to sit down to like start doing my makeup. And I feel like I've been in a very much like natural girly makeup vibes. But I'm feeling like I want to do like a matte lip tonight. And like really just like use like loads of products on my face. Because it's been a while since I've had like 
a super, super ultra glam moment. And I feel like this hair and just the occasion, even though it's only a Thursday, I feel like Thursdays are the new Friday. But I just feel like it calls for a special kind of face. I've kind of like switched up the angle, I feel like, a bit here. Normally I have you like directly in front of me, but the light is here. So that's what we're doing. It's time for makeup. I've like tried on an outfit. I'm like torn between two, so maybe you guys can help me. Let me just clip these bits of hair back. Don't want to like ruin the vibes that we did. Let me just give my skin a little bit of a clean before we go in. Um, okay, let's put a hair on my face. That'd be really good. We are, I don't, also, I've got like two identical spots here that are really pissing me off. But yeah, like I said, I feel like I've been doing a lot more of like a natural glam at the moment and I still want this makeup to like look somewhat natural but I don't know I'm in the mood for maybe like a little bit more like of a full coverage vibe and I kind of want to like sounds really stupid but like take my time on my lips like I really want to like paint a lip on like you see all the like professional makeup artists do and it just it just always looks amazing, so let me, I've just cleaned my face, what do I want to do now? Prep it, that's what I want to do. As always, I'm going to just leave all of the products like linked and listed down below because, I don't know, I feel like, unless you want this to be like a thorough talk through makeup tutorial, but that was the L'Oreal Revitalift Serum if anyone was wondering. That does leave like a bit of a tack to the skin, but I do feel like I wanna go in with a primer. I'm feeling bougie. And I actually do really love this primer. It's the Dior Veil, Forever Glow Veil Dior Primer. It feels so good. Like look at that glow. And it's still like really tacky for whatever goes on the top. I feel like I'm so late to this. The NYX Brow Glue is so good for like sculpting out the brows in place. And it doesn't leave like a white cast or like anything. It really do just be like gluing them. And they look so good. Like I feel like I'm really late to that. I feel like I saw people hyping about this a while ago and I didn't jump on the trend. But I'm not gonna fill in my brows right now. I'm gonna just do skin. And what do I wanna do for skin? I'm seeing a lot of people like sticking with that underpainting trend and I feel like I kinda wanna do it, but... Mm. I feel like I'm gonna mix too because I'm feeling freaking bougie. Nars Stromboli, the light reflecting and a bit of Luminous Silk Giorgio Armani in my like, to add tan to a foundation shade. So I'm gonna mix these two together on the skin. I feel like I literally just said about not just talking about makeup this whole time, but I'm really passionate about makeup and I love it so much. And I feel like, hopefully it's like low key therapeutic to like sit and talk about makeup while doing makeup. So I'm gonna go in a, with a brush and just mix that, like get the most coverage, you know? But does anybody else like apply like barely any product to their forehead? I don't know why, I just feel like I don't need to and I feel really like hesitant to, but just going like around the brows. And then once that's on, just sponge it out, absorb any excess, just make sure it's looking kind of like as sheer and natural as possible. Okay, I saw someone when it came to like bronzing up the skin using like two products. Basically going in with like your, your I don't know, lighter shade bronzer first. So I'm gonna go in with the Doll Beauty Cream. Can I just hold this in place? Cream bronzer. Give me sun cream bronzer, literally in the shade medium. And you wanna apply it to like the back of your hand first to like warm it up. I don't know why I like wasn't doing that before. And then just with your brush, just like press it into the face. And we're not kind of like contouring, we're just warming up 
this area. A little bit more product. This brush, by the way, is a Morphe E63. Just kind of all the places you want to bronze up the skin. And then I'm going to go in with something slightly darker. I've been loving this. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow, but the contour ones. I got this in the shade Medium Tan. And then again... Oh my god, that's a lot. I've just taken out. Okay, I'm not going to use all of that. And I'm going to use the the other end of this refi, refi brush because it's really precise. And this is how we're going to contour, like really like put it in the hollows. And you can even use this side to like help diffuse it out. But it just looks really, I don't know, I feel like it's just a bit more natural. You can even take this like down the nose if you want, or just like around the jaw and stuff. I don't know, just been really like watching a lot of makeup videos on TikTok at the moment and like really taking on board people's techniques and trying new things and experimenting, you know, which is fun, but I'm about to just do, actually, I'm gonna put this cream bronzer in my, the, the lighter one in my crease. I always use a cream bronzer in the crease at the moment. Not even just in the crease, like literally all over. It just is such a good base because the eyeshadows I use are this color anyway. So the same way that I go in with creams to then go in with like powders, it's the same thing. Pack it all on and then like blend it outwards, kind of like connecting to the bronzer on our face and even why don't I like stop rubbing my freaking sleeve against that making annoying noise you know just connected everywhere now for concealer I'm gonna use the Dior Forever Skin Concealer I love this shade it's the shade 1N and just you know apply it in all the places that you want to apply I feel like we all know this by now we've all got our makeup down haven't we I just like to sometimes go in with a brush so I can be a little bit more like precise. Blending, all of that good stuff. Also I have two like mass like spots on my chin that are really starting to piss me the fuck off. And I'm pretty sure if they're like around your mouth or on your chin, it's because of your diet, but my diet's not bad. I don't know if it's just because it's like a change in diet or maybe like a lot of protein, that sort of thing. I'm sure someone will tell me. Yeah, just softly diffuse it out, looking snatched. One thing I do need to like vent with someone because none of my friends are watching it and they don't understand when I say this could be like the best season of Love Island yet, is Love Island. The day that I'm filming this um, is Thursday. So yesterday was like, the most iconic recoupling, like that was hectic. I had I had genuine heart palpitations. Like, I'm so happy, I, like spoiler alert, if you've not watched it, I'm about to like talk about what's happened, but I am so happy Ella recoupled because Tyreek needed humbling for a second. Like, why is it on his terms when or not, like he decides that he wants to like commit and like have those feelings like, Katie like put it in such a good way of like explaining it. She was like, if he was a bombshell, like, I feel like it would feel different. I just feel like his ego is so hurt because he's really been making a point how he like never has these feelings for people, like never puts himself out there. And like, if there was a moment to like be humbled and like embarrassed, it was that. Cause I feel like he thought there's no fucking way she's bringing anyone back because you know, I've been messing her about for weeks and she's come back to me every time she's not left me. But his reaction is, like, really intense. So I, I do kind of... I don't know if I hope they get back together. I really kind of like Uzi for her. Like, he's gorgeous and, like, everything that she's been looking for. Um, so I'm, like, so excited. I'm going to miss it tonight. So I'll watch it tomorrow morning. But it's so good. If you're not watching Love Island UK yet, watch it. Anyway, going to go in with the Poppy Girl Nude Sticks Cream Blusher. I love this. It's a really, like... These red blushes look so scary like in the packaging i guess but they're actually such a nice color i might actually go in with this one first which is 
cherry blossom babe it's slightly like lighter pink and then just like use this to like enhance it a little bit so this is kind of like the base blush and i love these because the way i love this like kylie blush i love it because it's like a balm it's got that like balm finish and like so do these as well yeah that's given us like a really nice like base so i'm just gonna do like one little of this color, which is the Poppy Girl color, just right on the apples. Kind of like to take the excess, just kind of like, I don't know, everywhere. Right, it's time to powder. So let's powder. I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm just gonna go in with the One Size Translucent Ultra Blur, basically everywhere, but I'm obviously gonna like puff underneath the eyes to set it all in place. Under the eyes is kind of like the only place I like to be quite precise with my powder placement and then I just kind of dust it because I like looking somewhat sweaty and natural. And then just gonna dust powder everywhere else really. Gotta make sure you go over the eyes as well just to make sure they're all set and the brows. But yeah, we are absolutely sufficiently set. I feel like I have just loved this ever since I got it. It's the Bronze Motel, like, bronzing book by made by Mitchell. But I use this for, like, eyeshadow, bronzer, like, everything. Like, I'm literally obsessed with it. So I'm going to go ahead and contour. And I use the shade, like, Ginger Biscuit to contour. And I also kind of might run that in my eyes as well. It's just like such a soft, like natural contour. I love it. Like I said, I'm gonna just maybe take that in the crease. It matches pretty nicely to the cream contour that we used. So I'm gonna run that underneath my eye as well. Like I genuinely feel in terms of eyeshadow, that's kind of what I'm gonna do. I might go in with a bit of cheeky. It's literally the next shade across. It's the tiniest bit darker. Just for a little dimension, but that's literally it. Perfection. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well, actually no. Let me just do the rest of the face. I'm gonna take the MAC medium no matte medium gold skin finish it looks like this beautiful bronzer not too much of this because you know what's next a bit of shimmer shimmer speaking of shimmer just like to mix a little bit of mac global glow and gold deposit together for like shimmer vibes i just dub dub dab a big brush in it and just go ham ofs And then in terms of blusher, again, I picked this up because I picked up the bronzing book. And like, once you have these two, do you really need anything else? The blusher book of dreams. I literally want to dunk my brush in like all of the shades. But I think I'm going to mix a little bit of like Thrill Joy, Milkshake, Think Pink, like all of them. Because why not? And then because I haven't in ages, I'm going to take a tiny bit of like For the Lovers, which is purple. And when I say the tiniest bit, I mean it. Literally. Just slightly underneath the eye. Like a little diffusing moment. You probably can't even see that that's done anything. And that's fine. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay, final kind of cheek product, which I really love. And I kind of use in place of a highlighter is the Doll Beauty Glow Getters blush, Peach on the Beach. Love this stuff. Just kind of adds that sheen. Like so. Now, I got this new product and I'm scared. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Hydratomous Radiant Skin Rescue Essence and it's got hyaluronic acid in it. It doesn't say to use over makeup, but it doesn't say that you can't. 
I'm gonna try it, okay? And see if this does a better job than my Wee Cherie. Cause you know, I like will die on the Wee Cherie Hill. Let's try this, okay, Miss Charlotte, let's see. Cause it says you can use it like when you're doing skincare and stuff, but also throughout the day. So then wouldn't you think that that means like when you've got makeup on throughout the day? But if this is now, like, completely fucked up my makeup, I could be so pissed off. But let's just, like, let it dry. Um, I am, like, not mad at that, like, at all. My skin looks really glowy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. And I've been absolutely loving using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. Like, if you've got dark hair like me, this is the shade that's going to change your life. And with that brow gel in as well, it just makes it so quick and easy to fit in the brows. But I'm just going to quickly put my camera on charge because it's dying. So everyone does their brows differently. You do you. But these are two products in combination with each other that I am literally just obsessed with at the moment. Okay, don't fucking hate me, but I just finished my eyes. I just did a little smoky brown, literally with the, the darkest shade of the bronzer palette. And I stuck these lashes on cut in half from Doll Beauty, they're the Wispy XLs, just to create an outer corner moment. That's literally what I did. Oh, and I highlighted my inner corner using the NYX Jumbo Stick in Milk. It's my new favorite thing to do. If you watched my live the other day, you would have seen me do that. Obsessed with the way that that looks, and I feel like it lasts a lot longer. Sorry, I just need to make sure that these are officially stuck down, but I'm just so excited to do the lip. So for the lip, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in iconic nude. I don't know why I've just been loving a more like cool tony, cool tony, cool tone lip liner. Like nothing too dark. I'm realizing when I do really dark lip liners, they just end up like, I don't know, coming off and just not looking so good. And this is really random of me, but I am gonna go in with the Dragon Beauty Liquid Lipstick. It's actually a really good liquid lipstick in the shade, I think this one's literally called Nikita. What the happened to her? Paint this on, kinda. Brush and paint. I feel like that's just gonna really like seal it in. Use the brush to like diffuse in the lip liner. I'm gonna go back in with the lip liner a little bit. And then for gloss, again, I've been kind of loving a bit of a like cool tone gloss. And I don't know, is this like Gwen Stefani's brand? I, I don't even know what the brand is called. It looks like that. And this is in the shade Candy. It's like a blue tony gloss. Which number one tastes insane. But it just gives that like milky like a gloss vibe, but it's such a like lacquer, but it's not too thick. It's like, I love it. It tastes amazing. I feel like that looks really good as well. But I feel like I am just gonna go in with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. I've used like three setting sprays, am I okay? But this is the final one. And just let that soak in. But now it's time to get dressed and I will show you what the options are. And then I'm gonna text Maddie and be like, can I like come over for a drink or something? Because I'm ready quite early. And I wanna take cute pics. And if anyone's gonna help me take a cute pic, it's Maddie. And she literally lives like across the street. So I have this like denim stripey two piece, which I thought was really fun. It's like jeans and a crop that I was gonna wear with some chunky gold hoops. But then I got this skirt on ASOS that's like really floaty and ruffly. And I just thought with like a white tank, like some hoops to tie in with that hoop, Adidas, black leather jacket. I'm hoping that this looks cute because this is ideally what I want to wear. So is this a sleigh? Is this cute? Because this is what we're going for. I feel like it's fun. We're just, yeah, going to like a cabaret, drag show type vibe, at like firehouse. So I feel like when we sat down, I want to dance. I'm in trainers. I feel like I'm super comfortable. Anyway, I'm going to take some piggies now on my new cami. Well, I kind of love it. Let me put the flash on. Can you even see? Like, is it giving? 
keeping that focus. I mean, it's kind of giving. I love it. If the camera's any good, I'll let you know what it is. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm gonna... Look what I got in the fridge that I can have as a little pre drink because I'm running kind of early. I've got this. Do we think this is gonna taste nice? Or like arse? Watermelon and basil vodka spritz. Oh my God, it smells like a vape. And no, I don't smoke vapes. Only if I'm absolutely blackout will I chug, chug, to have puffs on my friend's vape. I feel like I saw some of you guys out in town the other day and I had a vape. And I was like, guys, I don't vape. But tonight I'm gonna vape because I was in blackout mode. And that is not to be advised. And I hate, I wake up and I'm like, why did you let me do it? But all of my friends are like puffing away. Anyway, ooh, ooh, that's bloody lovely that. Anyway, cheers to the night. If I'm bringing my digital camera to take pictures and my phone, I'm gonna vlog on either one of them uh, because I'm not bringing fucking th two cameras and a phone with me because that would be bloody stupid. But can we just confirm that the outfit's cute? Stevie, what do you think? Say. Either way, I'm wearing it now. Cheers, and let's have a fucking fun night, shall we? Lord knows I need this. I feel like all I do is reply to the stories being like, I need this, make me that. Yeah, no, he's making fun. Look at this. Yeah, no, Oh, I haven't had honey tequila since like 1964. Can I wear a barman? So. Are you? <laughs> What's that? Uh, it's spicy margarita mix. Just a bit. Maybe dash it in. Then then I dash it. The fresh shit. Here we go. Give it a blend. Some juicy for my gal. That's so true. Uh, Where's the lid? Wow, Jason, that looks amazing. Bon up the fucking tooth. Oh my god, wow. Come on, wow. Cheers. Three. Here's to be menaces. Oh, be menaces. Dennis. Ooh, leave it with honey tequila. Five horses. Mine was 818. Ah! We're here. Say hello. Okay. Hello. Bye, Ben. Oh, good afternoon, mother. We're going to go over it now. Okay, they look like the fluffiest pitters I've ever seen. I mean, I won't be having that because it's got nuts on it, but wow, wow, wow. And I just got some chicken as well. What are those? What's that? Are they the potatoes? So that's barn out squash. Oh! I don't think there's enough parmesan on those, to be fair. Guys, that food was absolutely sensational. Someone, someone, someone. Tell me why me and Jason have just ordered a bottle of wine. Like, tell me. <laughs> Hannah's on the mark still. Made that mistake once too many times. We're not doing it tonight. Not tonight, my love. Not tonight. The show starts in 15 minutes. Guys, that was amazing. We're at the bar and Jason's being hectic. I've ordered a mark. I am lost. He's getting a frozen mask. Are you getting 12 shots? I'm getting a puddle. I'm gonna fucking die! This is so hectic. Look at these chasers. Love ya.